Hey guys, this is Saifuddin Ghanizada with another tutorial from Tech for All. In this menu, I will show you the QU Control Interface menu. Let's start. Open your computer's browser first. Log into the QU Controls administration panel. After you have logged in, select the interface menu. In the interface menu, the first thing you need to define is the internet connectivity. Whether you have a single internet link, whether you have multiple internet links, that you want to use it for failover and load balancing. As I have a single internet link, I will select the first option. Here you can see that there are five interfaces. The first interface is the internet interface. Under Internet Interface, you can add all the interfaces that are directly connected to the Internet. Under the Trusted or Local Interfaces, you need to add your local Ethernet interfaces. Under the IPsec and Kiryu VPN interfaces, you should add the VPN interfaces and IPsec interfaces. Guest interfaces. Guest interfaces are used to restrict the users only for Internet usage so that they should not be able to access the other network services. And any other interface that you have not defined it, it will be automatically labeled under the other interfaces. To change one of the interfaces, select the interface and click on the edit button on the bottom of the screen. I will change the name of the interface. From here, you can also change the group of the interface, whether it should be labeled under the internet interfaces, under local interfaces, under guest interfaces, or under other interfaces. I will leave it under the internet interfaces. You can enable and disable this interface using this option. You can also enable and disable the IPv4 or IPv6 options. For example, I don't want to use the IPv6 option. I will disable the IPv6 and only enable the IPv4 option. From the configuration type, if your ISP is providing you automatic IPs, select the automatic IP configuration. It will automatically detect the IPs. But if your ISP is providing manual IPs, select the manual option, type the IP address, the subnet mask, the gateway, and also define the DNS server. After you have done the modifications, click the OK button to apply the modifications. Another way to edit the interfaces is by double clicking on them. I will also change the name of the local interfaces. And disable the IPv6 because I don't use it. I will leave the other options as default and click the OK button so that the changes to be applied. Under the IPsec and Kirio VPN interfaces, there is already a pre-configured interface by the name of VPN server. Double click to edit it. As you can see that the IPsec VPN server and Kirio VPN server is enabled. The VPN network's IP is already configured with the subnet mask and the default certificate is used for both IPsec VPN and Kirio VPN. If you want to change the routes, click on the custom route Add your routes and then click on the OK button. I will leave it as it is. After you have changed all the settings, click on the Apply button so that the changes to take effect. You can also enable or disable an interface. Just select the interface, press the More Actions button and from the menu select Disable. It will disable the interface. Currently I have disabled the Trusted or Local interface. I will enable it back. I don't use IPsec and Kirio VPN interfaces, I will disable it. Select the interface, click on the More Actions button and then select Disable from the menu. It will disable the selected interface. And then click on the Apply button to apply the changes or press the Reset button to undo the changes. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. A sub to the channel would be awesome. Till next video. Have a nice time.